welcome to Valentina's Corner. So this is my corner today. I am sorry, it's kind of noisy. I am at the hospital today. I'm completing a shift and so I am not gonna be so loud. But I did wanna come on here and discuss with you guys a little bit about what I did the night before the NCLEX RN exam. So the night before the NCLEX RN exam, what I did was I rested. I absolutely rested. I didn't do anything. I did not open my book. I did not get online to do any questions. I did not stress myself out. I literally, literally, literally relaxed. I prayed. I meditated. I was calm and I just said, you know what? I have all the information I need to be able to pass the NCLEX. I have studied during my nursing courses. I have practiced all of my questions right after graduating from nursing schools. I took over 2,500 questions. The night before the nursing exam or the day before the nursing exam was not the day to be stressing, was not the day to get my head hurting over more questions. I just could not take any more questions. I mean, that's when you know that you've practiced as much as possible, when you literally are tired of taking questions. So take it from me, the night and the day before the nursing exam, of course, if you feel like there needs to be an extra question or two that you need to take, go ahead and do it. But absolutely do not stress. Do not stress over the NCLEX RN exam because the last thing you want to do is to stress yourself out have headaches, going to the exam exhausted, going to the exam, you know, without confidence that you're gonna pass. You wanna go into the exam confident enough that you're gonna be passing, confident enough that you've done everything and anything that you could possibly do to pass this exam. And like I said, that is by taking as many questions as you possibly can to the point where you're like, I'm done like where you're seeing numbers all over your head, where you don't wanna see any more questions. That's when you know you're ready. So yes, that's what I did. That's the secret. Do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing. Rest, relax. If you can, go to the spa, get a massage. If you have a tub, a jacuzzi in your house, get into the tub, put on those bubbles relax the day before the NCLEX and the night before the neck NCLEX you know what if you're somebody who prays at night go ahead and say a nice prayer in your quiet room meditate pray to God and say God I know that you've given me everything that is needed to pass this test Father Lord help me to apply everything that I have learned everything that I've practiced on this test give me the confidence to be able to pass for with you i know nothing is impossible say that prayer believe in that prayer and have confidence in yourself trust me you will pass the test at your time you will pass all right thank you so much for watching this video till next time oh before i hang up let me tell you i will come back here with another video uh putting up some simple questions on how i strategize answering the NCLEX RN exam questions. Hopefully that will help you out on figuring out how you can also strategize answering questions. I know that whenever you study with someone else, sometimes it can help you put things into perspective. Maybe there are some things that you may be doing that may not be, you know, quite right or maybe that's how you're able to find out where you do what you're doing wrong where you're wrong at so i'll post like a video with maybe 10 or 15 questions about various nursing topics of different areas and how i answer those questions and that hopefully will help you like i said again to put things into perspective um so yeah once again if you have any questions put them down below i am working on the links for the kaplan course book that i use and also the saunders course book that i use um to answer or to help me practice for the nclex rn one more thing is i graduated almost 12 years ago as an rn so the links to the books that i'm going to be giving you are going to be of current books they're not going to be of 12 10 12 years ago of course you wouldn't want those right so um just to let you know i didn't practice on today's ones but i practice on the old ones but i've been a nurse for about 
12 years now, so I'm pretty seasoned. And I have a lot of information, a lot of practice, you know, on a lot of, you know, these questions and I'm always staying updated. So, you know, I'll share what I've learned with you because I believe that by sharing what I've learned, you get to get some things from me and I get to get some things from you. And what happens next? We get to give better patient care. So once again, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to say bye-bye to you. Till next time, take care.